I don't know what I'm going to say about each one. <laughs> like, I don't know if I really have any way to describe it. So, I'll get started. Um, first, I have my favorite perfume, which is Juicy Couture. This one. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, which is probably really awful. Viva La Juice, it is like on the bottom. Um, but it's one of my favorite perfumes, and it's probably my uh, signature scent. I would say, out of all my perfumes, I think I wear it the most. And it's really funny because I never go through perfumes quickly because I have so many bottles. Um, but this one is almost empty. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> it's almost empty. So I need to get a new one, but the only problem is it is really expensive. So I. I don't know who I'm going to buy one. Um, second, I have number three from Dolce & Gabbana. Um, this came in a six pack set. Um, but I think that all of, all of them, I wear this one the most and I like it the most. It smells really, really good. And, oh, that Juicy Couture one, it's got a really sweet smell to it. Um, which I really like. I love smelling sweet. It smells like candy. <laughs> Um, and then this one has more of like a, sort of like a fresh, sort of flowery smell to it, which is really good. Um, and it reminds me of my apartment in Paris. Um, next I have Hot by Wild Horn, which is really, really sweet, like almost over sweet. Um, I used to wear this like back in 8th grade. It was my favorite perfume and I wanted it really, really bad, but I just... It's too sweet for me now. I get kind of sick if I wear it too much. <laughs> um, but if you like sweet perfumes, then I guess that's good. Um, I also have Lauren by Ralph Lauren, which I was really excited to get. It was a Christmas present from my friend Dylan. And I was really excited to get it. Um, but I don't know if I like the smell. It kind of smells like old lady carpet. I don't know. Or like maybe like old lady clothes. I don't know. Um, but I love it because it's named, well, I guess I'm named after it, but it was my mom's favorite perfume, um, yeah. And I have to say that overall, I prefer Ralph Lauren perfumes over anything, not just because of the name, but because I think they have the best variety of scents, and most of their stuff smells good. I mean, you can't really go wrong. I bet you could just, like, pick up a random bottle and it would be really delicious, so. That made it sound like I was talking about food. Um, okay, then I have Flowing by Puma, and this is also a gift. I have two bottles of it. It was just gifted to me twice, and I don't wear it that much. Um, it's, it's a sweet scent too. Like, it doesn't smell bad. It actually smells really good. I just, it's not my kind of scent. I really, I like really like, um, sort of like tart perfumes, if that makes any sense. Um, and this is just kind of sweet. I don't know why I have so many sweet perfumes, but I don't wear them that much. Um, next I have Sun the Light by Jill Sander. This is really sweet. Um, really sweet. <coughs> um, but it stays on for a really, really long time. So once again, if you like sweet perfumes, if you like sweet perfumes, this is a really good one to get. Um, that's what the bottle looked like. And I have used a good bit of it. I, mean, I used to wear it a lot, a lot, freshman year. Um, and then I have Inspiration by Lacoste. You can see I haven't really used that much. I've used about half the bottle. Um, this was a gift for my eighth, my 13th birthday. Um, so I've had it for five years now. And this has a really, really fresh scent. Um, it smells really good. I really like this one. Um, next, I have my very, very signature scent. Like, this was my scent, like, four years. Um, it's Ralph Lauren Romance, Always Yours. And there are two types of Ralph Lauren Romances. There's the regular romance and the Always Yours Romance. Um, both this has the jewel top. I don't know if it's yet. But I really like this. Um, I'm almost out. But this was like, like when people smell this, they're like, oh, this smells like Lauren. So I really love, love, love that scent. Um, and it does stay on everything for a really long time, which I like. 
because I love to put on like scarves or jackets and something. And then I can smell perfume that I had on the last time I wore it. Um, so most of my clothes smell like that. Um, so next what I was just saying is Romance by Ralph Lauren. This one, I mean it smells pretty much the same. I think that the Always Yours is just a little bit stronger. Um, but this is still really awesome. Jamie bought this for me for Christmas like two years ago, I think. Um, then I have my guilty pleasure is August by Hollister. It smells so good. And I know everybody teases the Hollister perfumes because, you know, the stores are like reeking of them. But this perfume smells so good. And I'm really sad because I can't find the top. So I just take the top off one of my other bottles when I want to wear it. Um, but, I mean, this is also really fresh smelling. And I used to wear this a lot. And it does stay on for a really long time, which is good. Um, next I have... I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. I'll put a little title here. Um, but it looks like this. And this is also one of my favorite perfumes. Um, like I said, it's kind of like tart. And um, the bottle's really cute. It squirts out here. And you push this whole thing down. Um, and this was a gift to my mom. And she didn't like it. So I took it because I am in love with it. It smells so, so good. Um... And I have, this was in a gift bag from the party I went to. It's Eternity by Calvin Klein. I do not like this perfume. I really don't like it. Um, it's just, it smells like, like men's aftershave. But I mean, it's for women, but it just, it doesn't smell good. So I, I have like the entire bottle left. Um, and then as far as body sprays go, I have Sweet Pea Body Splash by Bath & Body Works. Um, I've had this for a really, really long time. My brother bought it for me. And I like to put body spray on when I get out of the shower just because it makes me feel like even cleaner. And then it's really dumb, but I really like to. And this is a good one for the summertime, I would say. I wear, in the wintertime, for body spray, I wear warm vanilla sugar. That is like my favorite Bath and Body Works scent. I have the lotion and the body spray. And I have the perfume, but I ran out. Um, so it's just really good. Uh, this is really, really sweet. Really sweet. It literally smells like you've just rubbed cooking vanilla on you. But, mom, oh, so yummy. You smell like a sugar cookie afterwards. Um, and then this one I bought when I was about to leave for Germany. I needed perfume. And it's called Love Shack by Gap. And it's really flowery and um, fresh smelling. And I really love it. I've used a lot of it, uh, as you can see. So, and a thing I like about body sprays is they last for a really, really long time. Um, okay, and then I have this roll-on one by, it's called Real by American Eagle. And I really like this one. I have my other bottle at home. I've been switching back and forth between homes. So some of my perfumes are at my other house. Right here, um, and I also have I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Summer. That is like my favorite thing to wear in the summer. It's a, I got a body spray because they were only like $15, um, and I just literally like drown myself in it in the mornings. It's so fresh, and I get lots of compliments on it. Um, as far as samples go, like little perfume bottles. I'm obsessed with them because I never use a lot of perfume, I guess, because I have so many. I just switch between them too much to have to really use a lot. So these little bottles are perfect, and I can keep, like, one in my purse, each of my purses. So this is Blue right by Ralph Lauren. Um, this is really, really, really good. Um, most of these little sample ones by Ralph Lauren have a really fresh smell. So my mom doesn't like this one, but I really like this one. Um, and then I have... Ralph by Ralph Lauren, which is also really fresh. You can tell by the bottle, it kind of looks fresh. Um, and then I have a tiny little Always Yours by Ralph Lauren. And then last night at Fashion, no, not last night, maybe a couple nights ago, uh, I went to the Fashions Night Out in Atlanta and I got Juicy Couture. They were giving out free little perfume samples. Um, and this one is Viva La Juicy. And I think that's the exact same one from that. 
Yeah, okay, so these are the same perfumes. This is a sample, though. I don't know why I think this one smells totally different. Um, I don't know why, but I think it does. And then I also have uh, Ralph Lauren Rocks by Ralph Lauren in a little sample bottle. This one is so good. I have the lotion for this one. Um, and I just think that it smells really, really good. Fresh, stays on, yada, yada, yada. Um, at home, like I said, at my other house, um, I have, this came in a pack of six, and the other ones smell really good. It's just like a variety of some Dolce & Gabbana scents. And it was really funny because I was wearing this one day at church, and um, a guy came up to me, and he just like leaned in and smelled my neck, and I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, I think my girlfriend wears the exact same perfume. And so like he called her over, and it turned out that they did. So I think that that says something about this perfume because it's really recognizable and there's not a lot like it. I would say I've never smelled anything like this. Um, so it's definitely one of my favorites. But I don't want to use a lot of it because I'm scared it's going to run out. And then I'm not going to be able to have it anymore and it's so expensive and I got my mom to buy it for me last time. So, um, And then I think that's pretty much all of my perfumes that I have. When I moved, I gave some away, and then I threw some away that I didn't really wear that often. Um, so as far as scented lotions, um, I have the Off by Ralph Lauren, I, I guess, that's what it's called. Um, and the only thing I don't like about this, it smells great, but it's got like glitter in it, and I'm really not a glitter person. I do not like glitter, unless it's in my eyeshadow at the end, or my lip gloss. Um, but the bottle is really pretty. I love anything pink. Let's see if you can see the color. I love anything pink, so I really like that. Um, and then I also have Ralph Lauren Rocks. The bottle is orange. I don't know why it's coming up yellow. Um, but it's orange. And this is really, really good. They're both super moisturizing. So this is Dream Angels Heavenly. Um, it's just another little sample one. But when I worked at Victoria's Secret, I had to work in the beauty department one day and I got to spray all of the perfumes around blah 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 and sell them. And this was my favorite. I am obsessed with it. And I literally don't have any left. It's completely empty and it's so sad. Um, but I, I don't know what it's made from. I have the cream. So yeah. So that's all my perfume. I made it smell really, really good. Whatever comes, a hike and smile if it's filled with tears. I've been waiting.